Hi, I'm Jamie, and today I'm gonna to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Planet. Planet is kind of a, a filler plus level game of uh, building your own planet. You can see in this photo here that it has this really, really cool component. It's a four player game, so there are four of these in the game. This is a uh, big plastic magnetic kind of ball, hexag uh, not hexagonal, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a ball, it's a 3D structure. And you are drafting and applying these magnetic tiles to the faces of it throughout the game until you have a full planet. It starts out completely empty, you end up with a full planet. Um, and that's kind of the main feature of what I want to talk about today, but I have a few other smaller things to discuss as well. But this is just very satisfying to actually hold a planet that you're building in your hands, to turn it over in your hands and see where it's going, where you can go, what you filled in, and at the end to hold the entire completed planet in your hand. It's just very, very satisfying. And it's not a gimmick. I, I know a few people have asked, like, is it actually a gimmick? And for a few reasons, it isn't. One, it's just cool. And I rarely think a component, a cool component is a gimmick. Um, because it's a component. It's a tactile industry, tactile hobby. But two, uh, you're connecting these edges in the game, and if you tried to do this on a flat surface, it just wouldn't work. It only works in three-dimensional space because you're connecting edges all the way around the uh, the outside. Where if, if you had just a, like a flat player mat and you did this, you I, I guess you could kind of connect the edges, but you would have to do it in your head, like connect the bottom edge to the top edge. Whereas this lets you do it uh, physically. Um, the other thing is that it kind of hides information from both you and the other players. So it makes you think in a three-dimensional space as you are connecting these different tiles. And at the same time, when you have this sitting down on the table, the other players can only see part of it. They can't see the whole thing. I'm not even sure what the rules are for actually hiding information from, from other players, but just naturally it creates an environment where you can't see everything that the other players have. And that's pretty important in this game. There are two smaller mechanisms that I, that I think are worth mentioning because they're pretty cool. Um, you can see in the background here, there are all these different kind of rows of cards, and each of these represents a different round in the game. You're going to be scoring one row of cards per round. And uh, one aspect that I really like about this, most of them are like, um, you'll look at here, this one says, you'll look at your biggest area of deserts that are touching, uh, whereas one of them is touching a forest. And you'll, whoever has the biggest area will score that card, will gain that card that round. However, if there's a tie, and this is the thing that I think is really cool, if there's a tie uh, for that card, instead of either tied player gaining it, the card shifts to the next round here. And so it keeps shifting down and down and down through the rounds until the tie is broken. I think that's a really clever mechanism for breaking ties in a game with multiple rounds, multiple scoring rounds. The other little thing is, um, I just gave that example, biggest desert that's touching at least one forest. There are also cards that say busy, biggest desert that's not touching a forest. And that's where I think there's a, a nice depth of strategy that I didn't even really touch upon in the first game that I played. I kind of just focused on the biggest thing touching something else. But once you get into start, once you start thinking about, okay, I need to have this big desert, but I can't have it touch this other thing. It adds this really nice strategical depth that I really enjoyed. And I think I'll enjoy in multiple future plays of planet. Um, yeah, those are my favorite mechanisms. Two things related to the scoring cards and a few things related to the component itself and the 3D nature of that component. It's just, it's really satisfying to hold a planet in your hands. If you have a different favorite mechanism in planet that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Or if uh, any of these mechanisms remind you of a similar mechanism in another game that you'd like to discuss, uh, I'd love to hear about it in the comments as well. All right, thanks.